welcome John Jones. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and very honored guests. This is going to be perfect. This is going to fit so well with our theme. If we can change the way we look at things, the things we look at will change. By a show of hands, how many of you believe that we each have a purpose in our lives? Something that we're meant to do, something we're meant to be while we're here on Earth. Purposeful living. How many of you know exactly what it is? how you got it, where it came from, and you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're living your life in alignment with it at least most of the time. Yeah. How many of you think you may have a purpose or a reason for being here, but you're not quite sure what it is yet? Perhaps you feel a shift in the fabric of time and space and you're not quite sure what your place is in that yet. People that know their purpose know where they're going, they know what they're doing, and more importantly, they know why they're doing it. Allow yourself to imagine for the next few minutes that we all have in reality an assigned purpose to our individual lives, a reason for being incarnated into this planet at this particular time, at this particular place, and that purpose is as individual as each of us and as unique as your fingerprint. Now imagine that you can apply this purpose not only to your personal lives, but apply it to your businesses as well. It creates within us a sense of balance, that we're on track, that we're doing what it is we're supposed to do, and that life just feels right. I believe that my purpose is to help others find theirs. What if there was a surefire way to discover that purpose and alignment in the grand scheme of things, and that by doing so, you'd allow yourself to become more abundant, more balanced, not only in your day-to-day -day routines, but in every area and every aspect of your life. If you discovered your true purpose, wouldn't that increase the way you feel physically? Wouldn't that make you feel better about yourself on an emotional level? Give you a deeper sense of self-esteem? self-regard, and lastly, wouldn't that create a genuinely profound sense that you're living your life, creating your business on track with the universe? You see, by discovering and tapping into your true purpose, you affect every aspect of who you are at the deepest levels, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. We'll talk briefly today about three main points. How do you discover your purpose? How do you apply the knowledge to yourself and your business? And how do you share that with others? So, how do you discover your purpose? The answer may surprise you. You might want to write this down. You ask for it. More specifically, you ask your soul for it. At least that's the direct method. As opposed to an indirect method that you would construct from available evidence, a picture of your purpose, and you kind of fill in the blanks, kind of like a crime scene investigation. It takes longer, it's not quite as definitive, but it's easier, and most people opt for that way. So if you're not on a regular communication basis with your soul, you may want to explore that in a little more depth. There are numerous effective ways to get in touch with yourself. Meditation, yoga. I hear that fishing is popular here. What better time to have a meaningful communication with yourself? I don't think fish care. If you talk to <laughs> so ask and be patient for the response. Point number two. What will this information do for you and why is it so necessary? Do you ever feel like you're trudging through life from day to day without a purpose, without a direction. Knowing your specific purpose gives you an anchor to put the mundane tasks in perspective and to start to create the roadmap that will give your life more definition. It doesn't mean that the things in your life will change immediately, but you can immediately change how you see 
the things in your life. Knowing your specific purpose ultimately frees you from questions such as, what if I'm wrong? I tell you, there is nothing wrong with being wrong if it's acted from a point of purposeful living. It's all lessons to be learned as we progress from this life to the next. You know, there's a saying, before enlightenment, chopping wood and carrying water. And after enlightenment, chopping wood and carrying water. How would it make you feel to know that the next business deal you're making is in alignment with your purpose, like it was meant to be? When you calibrate your purpose into how you conduct your business, it takes on a whole new meaning. It flows naturally, like water. It may be a creek, or as I've heard it pronounced here, I think Kurt said, a crick, one of our table topics. Or it may be a torrential river. And that's not to say that it won't have its occasional waterfall, or rapids, or a dam from time to time, but what a liberating blessing to know that you're acting out of purpose instead of ego. Okay? Now that you've got this treasure chest of valuable resources, what do you do with it? Why, you give it away as fast as you can, of course. The purpose of your purpose is to be shared with all. So, to recap, discover your purpose, either directly or indirectly. Start to apply it to all the aspects of your life and share it with the universe. That helps me.